Hey, it's another day in paradise. Today I am going to be trying to connect these two totes with a central watering valve system that is set down here beneath this trailer. Uh, the tote in the middle is just staying there for now, um, but it will not be part of this permanently. There's something else going there. So both of these totes I have adapted from the standard thread, this is standard pipe thread, to uh, the bayonet style connector. And then I've adapted that down with this monstrosity to get it down to garden hose. Uh, so I have the bayonet that can hook on this standard size, but these totes are threaded. Like this tote has a thread and a bayonet. The other one did not. And then this, but this tote is the same. This tote is just threaded. So here, well, it's threaded and bayonet. So here's kind of what I'm thinking. I bought these unions. This is. Uh, I bought a slip union and a threaded union, and then I switched one piece so that it's a slip threaded union. That way if I ever do have to do anything to this and take it apart, uh, I can get this off and probably bend it around enough to get the, the tank off of here if I ever had to do any maintenance on it or something. Otherwise this would be pretty stuck. If I just solvent welded everything, this would never come off. So I'm going to solvent weld on this little street 90 here. I've got another 90. I'm going to take it back around underneath. Uh, two inch pipes going back and forth between the two. And here they are. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solvent weld up those ends. I don't know the exact distances, so I'm going to try to fit it all together, get all the pieces that don't move set, and then we'll uh, put the two long pieces in to connect everything up in the middle. So just look at what the middle looks like. I'm taking both two inches into this three inch T so that if I did need to, I can take the full uh, amount of water out of both totes at the same time. I do have a lot of three inch stuff, including my big water pump is three inch. Uh, I also am going to put a two inch on here. I'm not going to do anything else further than this on this right now, but on this one, I'm going to put this ball valve on with the threaded, here it is, the threaded uh, standard male thread uh, so I can do that uh, either attach something else with a two inch thread or I can put the bayonet on here Which is what I'm going to do and then over here I have a reducing T and that's going to take it down from the two inch pipe to a three-quarter inch with that reducer and then I'm going to string along here for a normal hose bib like so This is going to sit farther away from this. I'm just putting it here for an example. I'm going to have three of these along here regular garden hoses which is what I use normally the way it gives me all the sizes and I can uh, keep both tanks full at the same time I don't have to continually uh, fill one go to the other and switch it and fill it and I'll just fill them both at the same time and it'll drain out to the other all right so I'm going to start gluing this up unfortunately my GoPro is acting up today so I'm doing this without a hands-free camera again it tends to do that when I need it I'm gonna so I'm not going to show any video of me actually doing these some of these steps. I'm going to solvent weld these adapters on here and here. Those aren't going to change. And then I'm going to solvent weld these street 90s onto the fittings. Then I'll come after I get this all glued up, I'll come back and uh, we'll start putting the rest of it together. All right, I've got the initial downspout part glued up. These will go straight out of the tote like so and then this is my little turnaround I should have gotten the, the street elbow version of this so I didn't have to do this but I didn't think about it I thought I would have to come down farther actually and I'd have to put a spacer in here so I'm gonna do a little bit of space I want to keep this pretty tight I want this to be as snug to the bottom of the trailer as possible so I'm just gonna uh, solvent weld these on the end of this two inch pipe and then uh, cut off a little bit, bit and uh, put my little turnaround on there. It's gonna be pretty important that this is straight. So I'm just gonna, again, do that off camera. Uh, oh, one thing I didn't show was this is, I said this was just, uh, two different ones. This is the slip one, it's both sides of it. So each side is gonna be, you know, a little different because this is like that, uh, the O-ring. And then the threaded one will mate against this, the opposite version, one on each side. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, hook this up now. So this is one union that I got on this side, the threads. I mean, it's just as tight as I can get it by hand, but I don't have it cranked down on there. And then this side, 
This one is also, this is the other side of that union. And it's on there as tight as I can get it by hand. So they're gonna mate up with the slip ones. Here's the slip union. And it fits on just like so. Again, this is so I can take this apart if I ever need to get this tote off of here. So back over here to backstage at the Blue Man Group, we've got, uh, this is the, uh, the turnaround for this side. And then this is the middle piece where I have my three inch, my two inch, and then my reduced to three quarter inch. This is the piece for the uh, hose bibs. I, I haven't cut these yet because I don't know exactly what these dimensions are. I'm not really measuring anything. Uh, it doesn't really matter what these links are as long as they end up fitting together. Um, it's not going to be standard for anyone. So if you want to do this, there's there's no point in me measuring it for my dimensions because it'll be different for yours. I got this one glued up under here now. Uh, the length of this piece is not nearly as important as the orientation of these pipes. Uh, they need to be sloped slightly down so the water will drain. It is gravity fed, so all the water needs to go downhill. All right, I got all of it hooked up on this end. And it's wired up there. Uh, it's actually sitting a little high because I have it pulled tight with the wire. I'll loosen it up and uh, fix it here in a little bit so it'll actually drain down. I'm not really worried about it because <laughs> there's a lot more water above it than below it. All right, there's the finished project with the valves all where I can reach them. I am not gonna put a three inch one on here because the three inch valve was incredibly expensive. Um, I'll do that later. And this is just temporary uh, wire hanging down here to hold it in position while the glue hardens. Uh, I'll find a better way to string it up there uh, so it's supported well and can hold all the weight. Um, but just for now, I just wanted to throw something on there so it would hold it in position. Got the three, uh, three quarter inch valves right there. Which are all open. The big uh, two inch here. It's also open. Let's shut it. All right. So now I should be able to turn the water on and it shouldn't leak. Let's see how that works. Got these uh, unions all nice and tight. Let's just open up the one here. I don't have it quite closed. There we go. No, I do. Hear the air coming out of that pipe bubbling up inside. I'm just going to look for leaks. It says not to pressure test this for two hours, but it's just drains. I don't think that it'll really hurt it. It's been sitting there about 40 minutes anyway. So this side I'll open up here in a minute once I make sure there are no leaks and the tanks should equalize themselves. We'll see how that works. Um, my valves look good. Looks like I got a little trip there. Where's that coming from? Oh yeah, that clean out. I might have to go back and uh, put some Teflon tape on that or something. Make sure that seals up. But no leaks. It's a good sign. Alright, uh, I think I'm going to actually drain this out and let it sit empty and dry for a while. Just to make sure, let's open up one of these little guys. That is an insignificant amount of water. I expected a lot more than that. On this one. There we go. That's what I expected. You should just drain whatever's in the pipe. Oh, maybe it was pulling the vacuum. That's why it wouldn't work. Very nice. All right. Well, I hope that helps you out if you're interested in doing something like this. Uh, I hope it's interesting. If so, comment or uh, thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Thanks.